Hi everyone, welcome to Crafting with Cora. Today what I want to show you is how to convert an image that's not an SVG into an SVG. So let's get started. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up Google and I'm going to search for a tree silhouette because that's what I want to convert. I'm going to select the image that I want to do and I'm going to drag it onto my desktop. You can also right click and click Save Image As. So now we don't need that tab anymore. We're going to go on Convertio.co. It seems to be the one that works the best for me, um, but you can also Google PNG to SVG converter. And there's a bunch of different ones there. Sometimes one will work better than the other. It all depends on the day, really. So I'm going to drag my file into Convertio. And here what you want to see like this, the file type here is a GIF. It's not even a JPEG or a PNG, um, but it'll convert it as well. And you select what format you want. So I'm going to go in here and select SVG. And then I'm going to click Convert. Now it says here that you can add more files. Convertio is free as long as you're only doing one image at a time. So you can also pay for membership and be able to do more at a time. So now you see here I have the picture and now it's telling me that it's ready to download. So I'm going to click download. I'm going to drag the download onto my desktop. And I'm going to go back into my design space. Click on my upload. Upload image. And drag this image in here. So this is how you can tell that it's an SVG. Automatically it went to the final step where all you have to do is name it. So I'm going to click save and I'm going to show you what would have happened in design space if it would have been the GIF or the JPEG or the PNG file. So I'm going to drag it and drop it and see here how it's going to take me through all the steps. So I'm going to have to click continue. I'll make it a little bit bigger to see. See here I'd have to go here and go through every part to get the background out. And see how it doesn't look as detailed as this one here. So I'm going to click Save in as a cut image. And I'm going to open up both images side by side so you can see the difference. So now how you can tell which one is which is by this over here. So this tree here has all these parts. So I can decide that this leaf is going to be orange and this one is going to be pink and this one here is going to be purple. And you see them changing colors even though it's still one piece. Whereas this one here, because that was the PNG, if I click to change the color, the whole tree changes color. So that's the advantage of working with an SVG over a PNG is that you can change a lot more of the details and the small pieces to it. So that's it for Crafting with Cora. Thanks for watching our video. Happy crafting!